Welcome to Inside Warhawk Football. I'm Sean Tien alongside UW Whitewater head football coach Lance Leipold. Coach, on Saturday, the Warhawks traveled to Menominee and defeated the UW Stop Blue Devils 41 to 7. Quarterback Lee Brecky on paper and in person, it looked like he took great strides, uh, completing 12 of 17 passes for three touchdowns. But how would you describe uh, Brecky's progression so far? I thought it was Lee's best performance of the season so far. I thought he came out uh, from the opening kickoff and, and played well, played aggressive. That, that mm -hmm. was the part we tried to emphasize last week in practice of um, you know, being concise with decisions, make one and, and go with it. And I thought he did, did a real nice job with that. Now in Menominee, it was Hall of Fame day, but it was a rather small crowd in Menominee. Would you say that was a bit of a factor uh, for your team in a good way or a bad way? Or well, unfortunately, I think the weather across the state, uh, you know, probably put a, you know, uh, put a damper, I guess, not just uh, literally, but uh, on the crowd as well, as far as how many people really came out to watch the game. It, it was a little bit uh, less noisy crowd, I mm -hmm. guess you'd say. It was a kind of a quiet, but again, being on the road, sometimes that, that can be to your advantage. And then, again, I, I, we talk about our players creating, creating energy and enthusiasm themselves. And again, the start that we got that, uh, first quarter and got that thing off to I think was really a, a benefit to us. Now the Blue Devils with the loss they dropped a three and three on the year. Uh, the Warhawks with the win have now won 27 straight conference games but did you sense that your players were looking at all uh, ahead to this Saturday's matchup against uh, undefeated UW Oshkosh? Uh, absolutely not. You know that's one thing we've uh, we've taken great pride in and is staying focused uh, one game at a time and, and trying to keep as much balance in, in the importance of each and every game as you possibly can because if you get caught looking ahead whether it be one week or four weeks or whatever it is uh, you know more than not you, you're gonna you're gonna end up on the wrong side of things. Now last season the Warhawks went undefeated but they were it was you had to go for through a bit of a scare against UW Oshkosh uh, you guys edged them 20 to 17 last year uh, earlier this season you guys edged Platteville 27 to 26 and the Pioneers actually just lost to Oshkosh this past Saturday, 34 to 13. How do you go about this week in practice mentally to prepare for a good Titans team? Well, I think the last thing you just said, it's a good Oshkosh Titan football team, and that's the thing uh, that we have to keep. And our players know that. They, they knew that last year, and I think, uh, again, they, they'll know it by watching film that it's a good football team. Uh, one thing we cannot do, Sean, is that we can't get any comparative scores because mm -hmm. everybody matches up differently against different people. And if you start comparing what everyone does in the league against different people, again, I think you're just wasting time and setting yourself up uh, for failure. So, uh, again, approaching it like we have, you know, with a workmanlike mentality and getting ready to, to play an excellent football team and hopefully play our best football of the season. This Saturday it's the homecoming and Hall of Fame day. Uh, what do you enjoy most about coaching on homecoming on the Hall of Fame game, a Hall of Fame day game? Well, there's, you know, the the good, it's homecoming, and usually it's a pretty good crowd. People come back, and they and they talk about things that have changed on campus and all the positives that happen that way. Uh, on the other side, it's a distraction at times for players with so much extra things happening. And as, as we talk with our players each and every year, uh, our responsibility on homecoming weekend is put on the best performance we possibly can and hopefully have everyone leave with a Warhawk victory. Now, with uh, that game against the Titans this Saturday, they have a pretty good quarterback, Nate War. He has 15 total touchdowns, bit of a dual threat mm -hmm. at quarterback. You talked about the crowd, how it's going to be a factor, but besides the crowd being a factor, what's going to be the key to stopping uh, Wara from scoring on the Warhawks and just the Warhawks uh, potentially handing the Titans their first loss of 2012? Well, I think uh, he, you know, Nate is an excellent quarterback. He, he can make a lot of things happen with his arm. He's very accurate, um, but uh, his, but he, when things break down, he can make something happen to his feet. Like you said, a dual threat and just not allowing him to, to have big plays. We have to contain it. You know, their option attack is very difficult. So it, it's a very complex offense that they're, that they're able to do to give you a lot of different looks. But uh, the small of it is he cannot scramble, make big plays. If we make them drive the field and they score, then they'll be the better football team. But eliminating big plays will, will definitely be a key. You know, the defense has only allowed 10 points total in the last three games. Uh, very, a very good defense, uh, if I might, may say, Coach. <laughs> but uh, for UW-YUR head football coach Lance Leipold, I'm Sean Tien. That was Inside Warhawk Football.